What's up guys? Happy New Year and I hope everybody's starting off on the right foot. So you guys know I came in on New Year's Eve to get my uh, year going and I got that first job I was talking about all loaded up in the booth and ready to go. So it's a big job and I want to spray this first job of the year with you guys and uh, go through this one. This is a black KH3 and I'm going to show you guys how I do my blacks and how I like to use the uh, Sherwin black sealer. And then I can get away with one coat on this and a drop. So the less moisture you have in the base and the less water that you, you know, the less coat you put down, the less time you got to wait for it to dry and the, and the less dieback you're going to have. So let's get into this job for the first job on Monday of 2022 guys. So let's get into this one. So now that we're getting into 2022, we're gonna have a whole new array of colors we gotta deal with. But also I was doing this new bumper and I haven't done this bumper before. So we're gonna be doing new fine lines and how these bumpers are gonna be masked off for the fine line. You guys know that that turns into something new every year when they come out with a new model. So this one was something different than I'm used to. So we gotta deal with the new fine lines, the new colors. And the body man's got to find, uh, you know, the new body lines and the new panels that they got to straighten. So it's never ending. We're always learning and we're always getting new things to try to master every time a new year comes. So let's go ahead and get this thing sealed up and start basing it. mixing up the sealer so one thing I love about Sherwin Williams is their black sealer so it's a true black sealer it's black and the pigment is dark so when you put down that black with the Sherwin it's almost already the color if you got a dark color so I can put one coat of base right over the top of this sealer and basically I'm covered but I put one more on just to make sure that it's evened out because with this water base and the black they want you to put two coats on because sometimes it'll do a crazy effect and uh, they definitely want you to put on that second coat so we're going to put on one and then we're going to put on a light coat just so that it's nice and even so let's mix this sealer up So that's it sprayed guys and look how nice it does for a sealer and how nice and uh, black it is it's like a true black paint so i love it because it's once you put that down now when you're doing the blacks you basically could get away with a one coat on it because it's a real black so i love the way sherwin does that with their sealer on the black so we're going to go ahead and base this one out now and we're going to be using the 3M performance gun guys. Alright so we're going to be using one of the new 3M guns guys and breaking one of the new ones in so I was taking it out of the box and laughing at myself because when I opened up this bag it's got this pull tab on it. As soon as I pulled this tab I thought of beef jerky guys. I said man I'm getting some beef jerky because I'm liking used to opening up bags like this with jerky in them so thought that was funny but you guys let me know when you open it up whether you're getting beef jerky out of it or uh some sour patch kids but it's different how they sell you 
the heads now in these bags. I thought that was funny. All right, there's the 3M gone. Brand new, first time using it. New regulator, new fitting. PPS, KH3, 1.4 on it, new head. And uh, let's go ahead and base it out, guys. So we got one coat on now. We'll let that flash off and then we'll drop it. And what I mean by drop it is just put a nice light coat. Don't re-wet the base back up because you don't want to trap that moisture down in the first coat. You want to let it all come out at once. And that's why a lot of the companies do the uh, one and a half coat. I know there's some companies out there that do the one and a half coat. So leave some comments below on how you guys use your water base and how you're uh, company wants you to do it so but I've done this on my own just from seeing how the results work and you want to let that water come out all at once and you don't want to stack it on top of each other because then there's a chance that you may uh, trap some of that water down in that first coat and you'll see the die back the next day so this is how I've had my best results so let's go ahead and let this dry we'll dust it and then we'll clear it all right, so now we're gonna put our second coat on and this will be a very light coat. We don't wanna wet it back up very much because we don't wanna to have to wait for it to dry and we don't wanna trap any moisture. So hopefully when we're done with this, it'll be about a minute or two, you'll see it flash and then we'll give it about five, 10 minutes and we'll clear it. And that's how I've had my, my best uh, success for not having any dye back the next day and having a nice gloss. So let's base it out one more time and clear it. You can see it's basically flashed off already so on that second coat I go real light with it and that way it don't trap any more moisture in there so that's how I've been doing it for a while now and that's how I've had my best results so let's go ahead and clear this one and uh, see how it looks So that's coat one. We're using this the uh, the C2 cap on this one because this is a, uh, a car with some peel in it. So I don't want to glass it out too much. 
This is a Nissan, and, and you know the Nissan's got pretty good peel in them, so I'm using the uh, C2, and I'm spraying this one at about 23, 22 uh, on the actual digital uh, gauge on the gun. So one of my subscribers says, let us know where you're spraying it from, the wall or the gun. So this is coming from the gun, and we're gonna put coat two on and see what it looks like. guys so the job came out real nice as you can see so that's how I like to do it I like to set myself up for a good day a good week a good month and then a good year guys so try to do the same you know it's it, it's worthwhile to think about what you're doing at night that way you could set it up for the next morning and you'll maximize your day and maximize your year guys so that's how I do it hope you guys like this one stay tuned for the next one make sure you're in for that 5500 giveaway guys and I appreciate you guys for all subscribing and watching all the videos guys, so see you next time.